Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. One of our guests is not only one of the best storytellers I know, but he is also one of the finest acting talents from Kenya. Former crush was Sanaipe Itande, but now married to someone else. Mr. Abel Mutua is in the house. Also in studio is arguably the incoming president, or should I say the president of Slay Queens, a staunch defender of the girl child and part-time defender of the boy child too on the corridors of the internet. Sharon Arua is in the house. Thank you. I also have some great news from Telcom Kenya for the Usiku Sako Association members. How ni watu wa mutandao? 5GB at 50 bob only or 700 MBs daily coming with an extra 700 MB night bundles valid from midnight is such a bargain. More details on that coming up in a bit. Na pia niko na credo ya thaumbili nataka kukupea. But first, Waigoro. Now after making history as one of the first female governors to be elected in Kenya, Minji Minji has... Aman said Minji Minji has yet again made news this week after becoming the first female governor to be impeached. Now, among the accusations leveled against her is that she paid herself uh, 10.6 million shillings travel allowance, yet she did not make any travels. So basically, Waitito, Waigoro, sorry, <laughs> Waigoro has been impeached, Juali Kula Fair. Na hapa nje kuna mtu anasikia kulia tifea yake ya miatatu imekuliwa. <laughs> now, anything chini ya thao ni fair. Anything above that needs travel allowance. I hope we are clear from that. Now, fair travel allowance or whatever you choose to call it, ikikuliwa kutetea mtu ningumu. However, the other accusations, kama yoya gross misconduct and abuse of office, that baffles me. The MCAs themselves, when you are impeach, went as far as spending the night at the county assembly just to impeach Waiguru. How is this not abuse of office? Also, in this picture, wana umewawili wamelala kwa kiti moja. Show me a better definition of gross misconduct. Tangulini. And this is also the perfect impression of what all our leaders do after getting the seat. Ima <laughs> the proverbial kitty. Munipe kitty. Dio yo kitty. In response to her impeachment, Waigoro said that she has no time for cheap political propaganda as she is busy fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Maybe this would explain the claims that she went to Baba's office at night to sanitize. Now, in a surprise move, haters from the Tangatanga uh, team, on the other hand, have come to defend Waigoro's alleged visit to Baba's office at night, claiming that it's defendable. In other news, the budget for the next financial year was tabled in Parliament this week. It stands at 2.7 trillion, but we have a national debt of close to 1 trillion shillings. CS Akizomayo budget is equal to the Pale base. Hey, maze, kesho ni birthday ya msupa maze, nataka ni msurprise na dinga, nataka msurprise na gari. Kale ka benzi kadogo sika na kuanga 2 million. Natafta 2 mali, natafta mali, neza pata yo 1.9. Niko na yo thawe ya juu. Now, the cabinet secretary of finance say that the budget has been adversely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, he had this words of encouragement for Kenyans. Economic growth in advanced economies is projected to contract by 6.1% in 2020, while that of emerging and developing countries, including China, India, Russia, and Brazil, is expected to contract by 1% in 2020. Basically, CSMSMA, So how comforting can that be? Yes, we are suffering, but at least we have company. Imagine, break that, 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 break that down. Imagine unapigia mtu simu. Eje mo maze, unaeza kuwata na sobili hapo maze na kufanja. Afeze, we natuwa wapi Buda, natuwa wapi, ni kubaya, miata ni konjazi, jakula for three days. Ah, Buda, atawe unadedi. Ah, kimoja mtu wangu maze, umeni encourage mbaya, bless it. Now, on a serious note, a major chunk of Kenya's budget goes to settling debt. At one point, there were rumors that the Chinese were almost taking over the Mombasa port. Now, fellow Kenyans, why do we have to borrow money from the Chinese? Don't we have Kenyans who can give us that money? Oh, wait. They have a value of Chinese, Mazi. Imagine kukuwa na deni ya atuoli as a country. Kama heo tuita wa shenzi na atuna pesa yake. Ile simu yake si aneza kuwa anavunja kwa vichuwa zetu kila time anaenda kwa interview. Now, from a solution perspective, though, I have had suggestion from by some of our leaders calling uh, for corruption to be legalized. Why hasn't the government considered that so that the proceeds of corruption can be taxed? 
Why hasn't the government considered taxing how my boys were uncle's idea? Ati uncle ni pe kumi hapo. Unampea seven bob. Eh, shiriki tatu ni pe as you one. Ama ni kupe one bob. Ama ni, kupe, ama ni kupe shiriki tisa one bob yegie kwa withholding. Now, I actually think that the government can also make more money from referrals as a madeni. Ukifile returns, unambia KRA. Ewa wakubwa mazina, unamuna ni dai 2K. Mina lipatao, yu ingine chukwe ni kwa zabu. Zabu wako na tao yangu alikuwa mesema ata nitumia leo jioni. Aliyambevo 2016. Nye mtajua vile mtajipanga. Also, in other news, our neighbors, ama our neighbor Tanzania, who was on the spot this week for declaring themselves coronavirus free. Tanzania's president has said the country has been healed of coronavirus through prayer. It is an almighty claim. <laughs> Social distancing, new way, way. That's a foreign concept. Unajua Kenya inakuanga kama US kwa, <laughs> kwa Tanzania. What more proof do you need to confirm that the only thing that spreads in Tanzania ni mimba za chibu? But then again, why is it shocking that the president Pombe, Pombe Magufuli has declared Tanzania free of coronavirus? Isn't it common knowledge that the president himself is a 100% sanitizer? Maybe Kenya should have voted for Baba too. Ndiyo kama yeni sanitizer vile haters on sema, <laughs> the country would have benefited majorly during these COVID times. On the real though, check out this bit of information that recently came out in regard to COVID-19 testing. Niko salama mimi sijatumia dawa yoyote mpaka saa hii. Niko na wiki mbili na chetu wamelipa kwamba niko na corona. Kama una 2000 maana Kenya wewe huna corona hapo. Kuna wale wanaotoa majibu wakasema kama utakuwa na 3000 ya, ya Kenya hapo utavuka utakuwa mwili wako uko salama. Now it makes sense. Last I checked, think about this. Uganda had less than 700 cases of coronavirus infections. Tanzania just declared themselves free of coronavirus. But in Kenya, COVID-19 infections are in the thousands. So basically, we've been buying coronavirus from our neighbors. But if you think about it like that, they are getting a good deal. 2,000, hauna corona. Now, in Kenya, it takes 2,800 per day for 14 days. Ukiingizwa quarantine. Think about that. 2,000 bob, you can turn negative of COVID-19. Imagine our doctors applying the same formula for other diseases. Nowhere to be seen. I also think, now I also think we've been fighting this COVID-19 pandemic the wrong way. I've had people doubting whether coronavirus is even a thing or whether it, it even exists. Wewe umesikia mtu wako na corona? Hata mtu mmoja unajua, unajua mtu wako na corona? Now, I think other than the handshake and sneezing, one of the ways coronavirus is spreading in Kenya is through curiosity. Aki wa jogu, umesikia, umesikia, umesikia gashero wa mpatikana na COVID? Haya. Wapi? Gashero uyu mmoja? Gashero? Iyo lazima ni jione. But, then again, why are we even shocked about, about Tanzania's story? Why are we even shocked that Tanzanians believe their president when he says they, are no, they have no coronavirus? We know very well Tangu ends is like Jeketile Ngwale wa mekuwakia minimaji mazi. Now, in fact, one important lesson we can learn from the Tanzanians about how they're dealing with the coronavirus pandemic near T. Kwa hii dunia, kama unajiamini, unaweza make it. Ukijiamini, unaweza make it. Sio lazima ujue kizungu. Now that said, I have 2,000 bob worth of airtime for you, courtesy of Telcom Kenya. And I'm going to read out the 12 digits of the airtime scratch card before the end of this first part of the show. Here's the clue. There's 10 digits between two zeros. Stand by because I'm going to read out those 10 digits before the end of this first show. Alafu, this week I got to learn a very interesting fact. Until there's a difference between engineering and engineering technology. All this is part of the project, uh, of our project of exploring all the opportunities in the construction sector. So I start with Alice Mutai from the Kenya Engineering Technology Registration Board for this interesting conversation. So that I look clever, so that I fit in. But 
he will be here with us because Babu and his bike and we'll be talking to him here. But first, you told me that there's a difference between engineers and technologists and technicians. A technologist is a holder of a higher diploma, national diploma, okay. or a degree okay. in the field of Bachelor of Technology okay. in either mechanical, yes. civil, electrical. Among us, the technician, we have the technician who is above a craft person, and the craft person is above the artisan. Watch any guess. A craft person ni mutuwa mukono. Yes. Anaitu a craft person. So mutuwa mukono ako okay, craftsman, sorry. Ako kwa which department of engineering? Kwa mjengo, ako kwa civil and building. So sedimentary engineering? Not sedimentary. Ah. But uh, in the technicians, yes. we will have the technician who holds a diploma, okay. certificate, Okay. We have a technician who holds a craft certificate yes. and we have a technician who holds a, an artisan certificate. And what's the advantage of working with certified uh, individuals for someone who's undertaking a construction, uh, a construction project? It is like you are actually marking yourself that you deliver quality service. When we have someone who is not registered, he will do the work and disappear. The company about disappearing is you can friend request them on Facebook and share a job you know, people who know him on Zamtafuta. When you look for him, which is still alright, yes. uh, what, what law will you hold him account for? But when it, it, he's under or registered under a body like KETRB, yes. then there is the law that can follow him. Compared to now that you're not, uh, you've not graduated, you are Kujiamin in a project versus when you've graduated. Uh, how much would you charge in, in difference? The paper gives you the bargaining power. Then also registration comes in importance whereby I can't work for any government project if I'm not registered. Ah. That's against the law. And what does it take to be registered with KETRB? They must have academic qualifications. Okay. But we, the government is also moving to the point where uh, work practice outside where we recognize prior learning, and prior learning could be at the site. Oh, so okay, uh, yes. within a specified period of time, it is accounted for. And because of that accounting, then we will say you will have covered a certain number of hours working on this, then you are perfecting your skill. Okay. Then that one also comes in until at a point where now one can be registered. Now, for prior learning, do you have a standard test? Ama, you, someone can hear rumors about what you test for, and after they practice only that part? No, they, they definitely will practice, but they will also, as they do the practice, it, someone is doing assessment. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, it's not like a one off thing. No, it's not a one off thing. It is not. Where can these technologies get the registration? The, the form can be downloaded from the website. Yes. Yes, there is a website, and uh, with that, with uh, under the website you get the form. You can also use the email sent to us, especially for this period of COVID, where yes. you don't have to bring the document, the hard copy, to the office. <coughs> Over to myself back in studio. Now, all this has been made possible by Habitat for Humanity International. And this is an organization with a long history of promoting affordable and adequate housing across the world. And Habitat has uh, a branch in a Tawiliga Center for Innovation in Shelter. And this branch is supporting and promoting housing innovation solutions through market-based approaches. And among the center's programs, Nikama Housing, Construction, Labor. And this is a program that seeks to improve access to and adopt of quality housing construction services na hizo ndio hizo services zinakuwa offered na mafundi now our main subject for tonight is all about expectations expectations of the boy child to the girl child and to each other and from us and from the society and we brought in studio ma men Abel Mutua and the incoming ama vile nilisema the president of Slay Queens Miss Sharon Arua mimi hii na ni bamba hata kabla haijaanza mazi now before we get to that part of the show. I had any Denny. I have 2,000 bob worth of airtime from Telcom Kenya for you. Karada. Naini nafasi ya kila mtu. There's 10 digits between two zeros. And the 10 digits are 5, 9, 5, 6, 9, 4, 4, 6, 8, 1. 
Load it up. Ikiingia kwa simu yako. Ah, uh, send me the screenshot on at Dr. Underscore Kingori on Twitter or Instagram. Dr. Kingori on Facebook. That's Dr. Kingori. Halafu ni kuongeze hiyo thawe ingine. This is all courtesy of Telkom Kenya. And nilisema hii promo, everybody wins in a way. Just dial star 544 hash on your Telkom line. Halafu one vile usiku circle bundles zina weza. Now we have Abel Mutua and Sharon Arua on the other end of this short break. So see you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Like I told you, in is on Zito Sana. Leo tukona jama moja. I think, I believe, it's fair to say I'm a fanya. A very, very big, I'm a make very, very big efforts to make sure I'm a party. I'm a jama wengine opportunities. He is credited for Njugush. He is credited for DJ Shiti. Na bado kuna wengine probably labda na fanim handy about that on set. People I respect. Abel Mutua is in the house. Avo Sawa. Also in studio is a very, very fine talent. Aude Makona. Story manze. And it was Sharon Arua. Ama Sean Arua pale. Instagram na YouTube. Kwanza Sharon, I'd really love to hear. As in, from you. What does it take to keep a man? I told my ladies, there is no criteria to keep a man. Okay. Imagine what I'm keep. What I'm saying, do this. Do this so that this man will not go. Be his peace. Be humble. When he's going to cheat, he will cheat with the the noise maker of the club. You are here <laughs> being his peace and being humble, you know, so there is no criteria. We kila mtu anakaa kama anataka. Kama hataki mlango ni ile anaenda. Yeah. But then yeah. sisi kwa ma boys wasi usemanga uh, ni wife material. Yeah. What does it take um, yeah. unitwaje definition yako ya wife material ni gani? Eh hey, hey, hey. mazaya ni mufa ndio statement ikiwa ambiguous sana wife material. Mm. Unajua kwa kawaida mwana inchi hapa inje wife material ni mtu watu anajua kupika chapati na kushone ya watoto sota. Imagine. Yeah. Eee, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 mazi na kukukisha watoto barabara. Na kukukisha watoto barabara. <laughs> Ovu iti sithani, we as long as umepata msemi kwa compatible. Yeah. Muna kapa moja, muna... Usha isikia maze kingori, una look forward to job ishe wende home. Yes. Uketuna mama upige story. Aijalishi ka uyo demu waga haezi pika to save her life. Yes. Uwoni wife material. Okay. The fact that una feel uko content, uko sawa, ukiwa na ye apa kando yako. That's Unajui all that matters. Unajui inaituwa ji? Inaituwa peace. Iye nye unasema ati eh. no, men value peace more than anything. Iye nye wewe una dispute. Aki, I'm not disputing it. Mm. See, I'm saying, <laughs> when every man is saying be his peace, mm. who is talking about the girl child? Every person normally says, you have to keep a man, you have to do this, you have to oh, do this. Who is talking about vice versa. how to keep a lady? Marriage is the key break. Yeah. Why upiki vizuri lewe? Uyo dem, ah, uyo dem, okay. you know. Yeah. Saizi, <laughs> tukienda, yeah. tseme kama ushago and all that. We want to know how good you are. Tuna kwambia wewe enda kwa kitchen, enda uchoge waru, enda ufa eni. What is the man doing? Bona, zienda chunge ngombe. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Vetting ya kwanza ya chali ina yeah. kujanga. Yeah. Uki introduce the idea to your family that you have a man ina kuanga anafanya kazi anafanya gana. kazi yeah. tunakuanga tumeshafanya mtiani yetu yeah. hakuna mtu anaendanga na urashio kama hakuna kitu unafanyanga hakuna yeah. hakuna hakuna <laughs> si hiyo ndio exam yetu si true true true, true. Oh. unfortunately i think king ori hiyo ni, ni ni zile dhambi tunalipia maze after decades za kudhalalisha kina mama na wasichana i think hizo ndio sasa viboko tunapigwa sasa hii do you realize while yenye tumeingia sasa a woman is valued just for being a woman yeah we ah ni, ni mdep ni mresh we put put some respect yes, simone yes. hivi huyu but <laughs> ndume ndume maze ni unaleta nini kwa meza maze ndume aezi ongea mbele ya kikosi kama hakuna kitu analeta kwa meza yeah. unfortunately even don't you think that's unfair that's very unfair i know i know but it is but, what it is <laughs> but but oh oh but yeah, it, is it, is it, is. <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is eh alafu sisi wote tutaanza kuimba stories za quality ile quality i know i know eh na hivi ndio nisishike nare niliji nili nilikubali tu nikasema tunalipia sins of our forefathers yeah. eh. when it comes to expectations yeah ndio 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 u get sema ku settle down na dem yeah. na that's a very major commitment like true, true, true. happily ever after eh. as in what what is it that you expect of that person yeah ndio akuwa mezi satisfy ukuwe unajia nini siji kama hii ni kukuwa selfish but eh, wanaume chini ya maji chini ya maji si ujipatanga tukiangalia mdem ako in line na dreams zetu siko okay. shoka si uangalia dreams zao 
Okay. Eh, mtoko in line na dreams zetu. Ukiona unaambia tu mse, eh mimi nataka nifanye hivi by the time nini anakuambia ah hiyo baby itaweza. In fact tuanze A B C and D. Okay. Unaanza kuuliza mabeshte wako, hey, next month unadu? Naona tukitembea nyeri." Kiasi. Ah, ah, eh, yes, karura yes, shio yes. kanaweza jipa. Inaludu. Eh, maze. But ukianza ku uko na tumiradi wako hapa lakini mreshe atambui. Okay. Anakuambia kuna brand mpya ya whisky imetokelezea ni nini? Mm, Umecheki club moja mpya. Kuna club mpya jo lazima tutese. Hakuna mm-hmm. mtu wagana tesa Instagram na na shamba Kamulu. Yes. Unajua. <laughs> Eh hey, jo unaona tu hapa ai hapa unaumia wacha tupige mzinga ishe niende mtaa mimi jo hapa hakuna kitu hapa akule block eh hey, ross hey, yeah, hey, 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 hey. hey, okay me personally nilifanya hivyo sasa siji kama ina apply siji kama nda kuingiza kwa normal before niende kwa nani niingize tuliwak tuliwak na wife yako kabisa kwa show ya njugushi yeye ndiye arrange bila wana kama kwa show and everything. Yes yes Iyo yes. madam ni professional. Ni hatari. Alafu juzi nikasikia eh. unaropoa kwa ati eh. kitambo uko nataka sana ipay. Sasa <laughs> <laughs> lakini unaona nilikuwa 19. Nilikuwa 19. Eh hata sikuwa nimemeet. <laughs> ah mazi. So eh, ukikam ni angalia expectations za uh, ukiangalia vas, sana ipay versus ma, how how much how much did you score as yeah. in your hey <laughs> budo unaniaka kwa sport jo si umesema umesema as in in terms of <laughs> we unajua at 19 <laughs> dream yako ilikuwa sana ipe eh yes at 19 sifikiri investment at 19 nafikiri ah ni mrashim gani ndatembea naye kwa hudu wasewa nipige ile look ya unajoga ukipigwa hii look unasema kitu mbaya sana please safisha buda safisha Buda safisha. At 19 Buda. Bro. Buda. At 19 yeah, bro. Ndio na kwani. Unajua kitu umesema itakuwa interpreted. Acha ni kwambie eh, itakuwa. Eh. Sana ipei ni demwa kutembea na yeye mta. Ni trophy. Bas. Trophy Bas. wife. Trophy <laughs> wife. Buda safisha. <laughs> ah, Buda no, safisha. No no no. no. Simanisha ati sasa hii sana ipei ayuko ayuko sim tu akona dreams and ambitions. Yes. Alianza kwa kosa but hiyo time mm-hmm. the reason why nilikuwa nimemuulika sana ipei na sio E, nyakerario mwenye tulikuwa tuna stay na yeye hapo nyuma mtaani yes. ni juu sana ipei unajua akona yeah eh mazao ah, haya sawa eh e. <laughs> e, mazao haya <laughs> shonaro aseme sharon alikuwa na story moja ili nibamba sana e. in fact nilikuta tukiongelea e. ya vile walichotwa na maseleb <laughs> walichotwa na maseleb oh kuchotwa kuchotwa okay 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 hiyo e. e. story ni celeb <laughs> Tulikuwa I think na first of October first one of the two. Yeah. Sasa tunajua we are on this side and on the other side tuna assume ai yeah. ile oxygen wako nayo ni, ni oxygen 12 pro. Eh, bas, yeah. bas. <laughs> Wao wanaipata. Yeah. So ikakuwa eh hey, mambo eh hey, unaniita? Yeah. No. Mimi I'm sure it's me. Then yeah it's you and then unazaita mtu. Yeah. List haraka haraka. Nani? Come. So and so ada kuita yeah. kuja. Tukakuja tuka ikakuwa ikakuwa kaenda home kwa ground my friend walilala njama zile ah. <laughs> walai na ndio waliwaita ni nilipi hata uba manze nikabaki so, eh wewe acha nilipe uba ah. one of the most important lesson i learned was that always carry your money hey. yeah. <laughs> beba pesa yako and also don't judge people from what eh, face is value. on social media and just on the face value mm. there is more utap- Pigwa na disappointment you are going to unajua cha kusikitisha ni nini mm-hmm. ama celeb walikuwa hapo kando ndio lakini kuna jamaa alikuwa hapo sura personal ana kabla anataka na kitambi ah, ah, kitambi yake iko na third floor kabisa. lakini huyo ndio alikuwa wa kusababisha ni vile hawakujua hawakupatia benefit of the event eh kuna tu jamaa alikuwa tu hapo na kitambi iko na kiti yake hapa kando mm-hmm. yeye ndio anasababisha hapo ana pop barrels hapo deadly lakini sasa juu image haikubali which brings me to an interesting point. Eh, Madim eh, ni ujua ku nini hivi. Ni ujua kusoma watu. Azi yeah. hapo unaweza kuongo hapo eh, ukiwa 18 19. Eh, ni ujua je umse yako na do. By you know you are judging a book by its cover. Yeah. Madim ni expert at that. Ni ujua je. Tuambie tu kwa TV but mta change. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Unajua mtu wako na do acheki vile Fredi anacheka. Umejua je niko na le? Anajua kicheka anguke hivi <laughs> <laughs> not is it that and huyu anacheka ndio hivi mikono 
strategy <laughs> Then what is as we wind up what is the space for our madem wengine wamebaki au madem wa kupati au madem wa mzinga what is the space for them kuna kazi kwa club Club kuna kazi. Aongee poa mazizi. Kuna choma. Kuna choma. You are incinerating. I mean see you just have to make peace with the fact that sikila mtu atakuwa number one in class. Alafu pia usisahau unachekia au madem wenye dreams and ambitions ni kutesa. Equally kuna maboy wako hivyo. Yeah. Kuna maboy hiyo ndio sasa kabisa. So how ndio wana match? Sasa hiyo ni same WhatsApp. Eh. Hey. Ah. Sasa ngori ni wewe uko na dreams zako za kamundu hey. unataka ku, kujiweka kwa dreams Kaka, za mtu wa kiza. True yeah. Eh. Hey. Hapo sasa hakuna mali mnaelea. Hapo uta, ah utafraia. Yo, Aben. Yep. Eh <coughs> tuambie, ambie yeah. ambie maboys kitu mm. alafu Sharon pia ama niseme Shonarwa ambie <laughs> madem kitu. Yeah. Kwanza na madem. Yeah. Ume address Aben alafu nani? Eh <laughs> tuanze na madem. Tuanze. Anywho, <laughs> mimi the only thing I would like to tell the ladies out there is that Work on yourself first. Hakuna mtu anataka dem anaokotoa kotoa sijui uko na issues uko na sijui nini. Work on yourself, invest, have something to bring on the table. As much as tunataka boy ame make, hata wao wanataka madem wako na something in return. So don't just bring beauty. Beauty is crazy. Utanunua kwa mchina. So invest in yourself and at least have something other than the beauty. Yeah, eh mimi nitaambia tu mandume mazee irizo irizo. Hivyo ndio iko. Najua watu watalia oh ni unfair ama demo wanatakaje wanataka nini? Eh mimi nataka naweza tumia tu hiyo cast stepping stone eh ama kama fuel ya kujichallenge as a man. Kama waresh wamesema wakuongeleshi until ulete kitu kwa meza ngangana leta kitu kwa meza eh tulikuwa na jibusha hapa alisema maid ampiwa jua kuna kitu alikuwa analeta kwa meza but wakavinyali stick na yeye through thick and thin wakavinyali leta hiyo kitu inaletwa kwa meza na meza yenyewe that's why nasema kila mtu at least work hard boss maze nyinyi wase wa bold sana in fact maze go check out abel mutuas youtube channel na youtube channel ya shonarwa maze content yenu inaibamba maze make sure you go through the channel na usubscribe na uweke hiyo notification Bas. button alafu pitie huko kwa channel ya wicked edition take it take <laughs> to summarize kila kitu yenye tumesikia kwa show ya leo ni <coughs> it is what it is <laughs> that's it for the wicked edition see you next week my name is dr kingori